Hello, my lovelies. I have had a very busy and stressful week. Ooh, hot, 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 hot. <laughs> um, yeah, it's been one of those weeks. Have you ever had a week like that where there's so much to do and there's so many things going on that all of a sudden you're laying in bed and it's Friday and you're like, how did I get here? <laughs> like, how is it Friday already? That's what this week has been like. So I want to show you guys today how I de-stress from a stressful week and how I use my time to just relax and restore. <sighs> so let's talk a little bit about stress. Think of stress as a bucket. Like we all have a bucket, right? Some of us, that bucket fills up a lot faster than others, which means some people can be exposed to more stressors without their bucket overfilling. Whereas another person can be exposed to the same amount of stressors and their bucket fills up a lot faster. And that is me. <laughs> So if you don't do anything to help overcome the stress, you know, let out some of that water that's building up in that bucket, then that bucket will just continue to fill up and eventually overfill. And that's when you start feeling symptoms of stress, physically, emotionally, mentally, and we don't wanna go there. We don't want <laughs> the bucket to overflow we want to be mindful of that and work towards doing things to drain that bucket out before it gets to that point. So that is what I'll be doing today. I have definitely felt a little bit more on edge this week. Let's drain that bucket because I don't want it to get to the point where it explodes because I've experienced that and it's not also, I, j I also just realized what's going on with my hair. Like, what is this? This is the best version of me that you're getting today. I'm like, okay. <laughs> to do today to de-stress is working out. I was actually initially going to go indoor rock climbing, but my friend canceled on me this morning because she wasn't feeling good. Whoops. Um, so we're going to do the next best thing, which is working out here at home. Exercise is an amazing way to reduce stress. I wholeheartedly recommend it. It always helps me because it helps me stop thinking and just relax and just focused on the task at hand, which is whatever workout or exercise I'm doing. And I prefer to do like more intense workouts when I'm feeling stressed. So like high intensity interval training or strength training, which is what I'm gonna do today um, instead of rock climbing. And yeah, hopefully that'll help me just get centered. Also, it's probably good that I'm not going rock climbing today because I'm still recovering from last weekend. Like, I mean, this bruises from rock climbing. Look what I did with my arm. I scraped it against the wall and <laughs> it looks, it looks better than it did before. <laughs> so we're ready to work out at home. So welcome to our at-home gym, which is in our garage and also the laundry room. So pardon that mess. I'm gonna have to clean that up before I start working out. <laughs>
I'm officially exhausted. Um, that was a great way <laughs> to release some stress and energy, like, plus the humidity from outside. And I wasn't planning on washing my hair today, but I have to now. having lunch and now I'm going to do my next de-stressing activity for the day which is making myself a little something sweet to eat now I usually don't enjoy cooking or baking like I see it as a chore most of the time unless I am feeling inspired and today I'm feeling inspired because there's this recipe that I saw on Instagram for this raspberry banana peanut butter chocolate bark and I'm like this looks amazing and easy like I can't mess this up <laughs> right also when I get stressed I usually crave a little something sweet and usually when I'm feeling inspired to cook, like it's relaxing to me. I don't see it as a chore because I'm also excited for the end result so I can eat it. <laughs> making my chocolate bark. I put it in the freezer and I'm excited to try it <laughs> to see if it's good. And now I'm going to continue my de-stressing day by reading a bit. I always read in the morning for a few minutes um, while I'm having my coffee, but I like to read on the weekends if I have time for an extra 30 minutes, sometimes even more. <laughs> if I'm really into the book because reading lets me escape, stop thinking, relax. And I tend to prefer reading fiction books when I'm trying to relax because I don't have to focus so much on absorbing and retaining information. Like, I'm going to be reading fiction. I've been reading this book called Unlikely Animals by Annie Hartnett on my Kindle. I've been enjoying it and I'm going to read it now to relax a bit. de-stressing activity which is something that I've been wanting to try for a while but I keep forgetting about it is coloring <laughs> I'm connecting with my child self guys my dear friend Carla got this for me I think for my birthday either I think it was last year it's supposed to be a coloring book with like empowering phrases um, for women and very on brand for me she knows me well so it just 
they all look so beautiful and I've heard several friends say that coloring um, helps them relax. Let's see if it helps me relax and disconnect. I'm excited. I used to love drawing and painting as a kid, so I feel like I'm going to enjoy this, especially since it's something I used to enjoy when I was younger. So let's do it. Um, that was amazing. I totally lost track of time. I just looked at the time on my MacBook and I've been coloring for over an hour. <laughs> I noticed that it was starting to get a little bit darker and I'm like, what's going on? And I turn on my light and then when I looked at the clock, I was like, oh, wow. I was definitely in the zone and She's looking pretty. I did not finish yet, um, but we have to go walk Ziggy soon. So I had to stop. Um, also, <laughs> my hand. I'm not used to like holding a pen or pencil for that long anymore. Um, but I loved that. Why didn't I do that sooner? Like my mind just completely turned off. I was just zoned in, coloring, shading, and then time flew by. That was so relaxing. Wow. to do today to help me de-stress uh, will be to do a little meditation. I usually meditate a bit in the morning after I wake up, but I didn't do it today. So I'm going to spend some 10, 15 minutes now just relaxing. I'm going to set the mood in here. I have like this little night light ocean scape thing like makes the walls like all blue and pretty set the tone get relaxed so let's get zen and meditate <laughs> is it for my de-stress vlog. I hope this video was relaxing and hopefully it gave you some tips or ideas of what to do when you are feeling stressed and like your bucket is about to overflow. I feel like I'm a lot more relaxed right now, more restored, which is great. It showed that something I did work today, or again, it's probably a combination of all of the things that I did today. So I feel like I'm ready and refreshed for tomorrow and my energy levels are back to normal. I'm gonna go have dinner and then watch uh, some TV with Ben and our pets. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, I post videos about self-love and fashion every week so you can go check those out on my channel as well and I will see you in the next video. Bye! Love you!